Nintendo. Nintendo. They did. They, Nintendo, they chose Legend of Zelda. not to do a conference. They, they did a treehouse thing yeah, where they basically they, they just did like a thing after all the E three conferences, basically. And they basically just threw every month of Zelda they possibly could at you it, well, with Zelda Breath I'm of the okay Wild. That's what they needed to do because. Nintendo really didn't come with anything to this conference. Like, I think Nintendo doesn't realize is that they're still trying to put out games for little kids. And I mean, that's good. Like, you know, we still need people to do that, but people going to watch a Nintendo E3 conference are looking for, like, say, my opinion on Mario Party is they need to remake 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And quit making new ones. But instead you have one big hype game that all the hardcore gamers are excited for. And then the rest are for like, you know, kids and stuff like that. Which this year it was Legend of Zelda. Um, Which is, oh, if it's a game my body is ready for. If it's really everything they said it to be and more... It'll probably be one of it'll it'll be in the top three Zelda games. Like, like I know I know people gave a lot of like shit to Twilight Princess, but I actually loved Twilight Princess, and I think this new this new game with Breath of the Wild coming out, it's gonna be one more open world. Well, There's a lot more get, choices as far as looting and doing you adventures. Get a complete loot system so a complete randomized loot system you get the day and night cycles you get open worlds you can go anywhere you want you can go directly to ganon if you want at the beginning of the you can run to ganon naked at the beginning of the game and try and fight him get wrecked and, of course and and get wrecked because let's face it ganon's a boss but like i love it, about it is like it's like, it's like Nintendo morphed into Square Enix with the Final <laughs> Fantasy game. Yes. It's like, maybe we should make Zelda like this, which honestly I've been waiting for for a long time. Not saying anything was wrong with the other Zeldas, but like, this is the Zelda of the future, the way it's supposed to be made. You yeah, know? this is this is a Zelda that is really going to be like... So I, I guess he has... Can Zelda be more than what it already was? Like, I guess here's my question about Nintendo and Zelda. Obviously, the Zelda game is going to probably be amazing. It's going to probably sell, you know, Zelda fans are going to probably buy it. Is Zelda enough, do you think, for, for Nintendo? Since like, they don't have well, much else on the horizon, well, apparently. Like, the last they, couple of years of Nintendo coming free has been about Mario games. And that's well, enough to sustain them. Like, that's that's year. might be that might be the issue with one. I mean, obviously Nintendo's gonna make a buttload of money off of Zelda. The only thing that could have probably helped them a little more is if they put out like a minor Mario game because I know not releasing a Mario game is an issue because people they're hyped for Mario and I mean their their last big thing they released for Mario wise at least was Mario Maker and that game was amazing it's still amazing people are still playing it it's an amazing game I, I think the only thing they could have really worked on besides you know they're getting the actual content to do an actual press conference maybe is put out a Mario game every year no matter otherwise it's they they face the threat of if their main highlight doesn't work they're they're going down for that year but the problem is their main highlights always work they had obviously the mario franchise true. they had zelda is keeping them afloat but then again they're very reliable titles that well, especially legend of zelda always delivered for what they were looking part for. of the reason i think they they would uh, they should adopt my mindset is the past like skyward sword tanked like that game was not good and it didn't do good for them. So, for 
Nintendo's sake, I would almost rather than put out another Mario, like another, you know, not a major Mario game. Another, you know, off-topic Mario game. Just, just to have something to fall back on if this Zelda doesn't work, which obviously it's going to work. I, they're going to make tons of money when it releases, but it, it's just about being careful for them right now because they're in a very, very bad spot with only being able to make more games than the franchises they have. Um, and the thing that might, my honest opinion, that might save Nintendo or save a Mario series is putting out a sequel to Luigi's Mansion. That would make a lot of people happy. I have heard people, what people also kind of want, a sequel to Mario Sunshine. Yes. Oh, well. yeah. I enjoyed Super, Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine and Luigi's Mansion would pretty much hold over the entirety of Nintendo's fans for the rest of Kingdom Come. Like... But give us, like, an open world to Mario Sunshine. Like kind of more open world esque a little bit like that. Oh uh, yeah. Eat it up. And Luigi's Mansion, I think they made like a DS version of Luigi's Mansion. Was that a sequel? I think they made that? I think it was a I, sequel. I don't and they they need to make one like they made the GameCube. Like it it, it could have a different premise. They could even like I I honestly want to see Nintendo do more things with the villains. Like put out a Super Wario world for once, like, please. Oh, they did before, I think. They they did, but that was on the Game Boy. GameCube, and, yeah, GameCube. Yeah, GameCube, Game Boy, and it honestly, uh, if they want to continue with the Mario thing, it might just be time to go villain side for a while. Which I do not mind. I, I want to see, like, either. a Bowser's Untold, you know? Dude, Waluigi, Dry Bone, come on. They, they have good villains. I'm not sure if Nintendo knows how to handle it. They might make they it like don't. too goofy. Yeah, they Maybe. don't. That's the problem. It'll it'll turn out like we'll get like Bowser Junior games and, and stuff like that. Like a, a dark kind of like villain, like Bowser's Untold Story, like make it like a really dark and like traumatizing. Is that why he way his way he is? Like, dude, and that's, that? what, that's what people want from Nintendo. Like, if they put out a game like that, people would go nuts. But that's not who they are, though. Like, you know? It's not, but it's who they need to be. Who they need to be. It's I mean, but The Legend of Zelda has been the thing to take on those darker things, though. That's what they've done with I that. Mean, but my favorite Legend of Zelda game isn't even one of the... My favorite Legend of Zelda game is Wind Waker. Wind Waker was fantastic, and I don't know why. It was a great game. You, you ride around on a talking boat, and before you have the tornado song... You literally spend three hours sailing across the map, <laughs> like. But it's good. It's it's pretty good. Like it. I don't know. I mean, so, I'm personally was a fan of the old of the old school, Link to the Past. Majora's even, Mask, fam. Even that the was... even the old school, the call like the old NES version, Adventure of Link. Oh yes, I, I, I played the uh, Link's I Awakening. Think... On my Game Boy. Shouts is gonna be salty because he hasn't beat the Water Temple. Oh god, the Akari. <laughs> that game. The Water Temple. See, see, here's the thing about the Water Temple. Like, people, people will uh, complain about the Water Temple in Legend of Zelda, but then they gave us the no, Great Bay Temple you know, in yeah, Majora's Mask. It's it's funny because, well, not even that. You can just stick on that game. People people say the Water Temple is so hard. The reason why is they haven't gotten past the Water Temple, and you realize, like, everything else leading up to Ganon after the Water Temple is, like, two times harder. Exactly. The Spirit Temple, Shadow Temple, like... The Graveyard. Oh, like, my gosh. The Water Temple was just fighting, a minor challenge compared fighting to, like... Shadow Link, like... <laughs> That was just a bunch of tomfoolery, like the Spirit Temple. It's just a troll. Like, the War Temple was just minorly difficult because it had certain mechanics you have to use. Everything else was just a bunch of bull. Like, yeah. Oh, I hate the Spirit Temple, dude. Like, it's, it's just annoying. And then, the Great Bay Temple. Like, I, I just... Like, I love Majora's Mask. The one part, one thing I hate about that was, yes, you got these Azora Masks to swim around, but the Great Bay Temple was literally cancer. I hated it. I hated Great Bay Temple. It, uh, I wanted to literally kill so, myself. 
I hope they do well. Like, I don't have anything against, against Nintendo. They've always hyped us up. Um, and I mean, really, probably their top contender besides Mario is going to be Super Smash Bros. Like, it's probably the most hyped EA or Nintendo game that's ever come out. And that doesn't just go for EA, it goes for every other company that has stuck a character in that game. So, I think we should move on Can to the... Can we briefly touch on Square Enix before we get on to the big two? Oh, yeah, we're, we need to do Square Enix. Okay, like, I see. Like, I know... Did Square like, Enix I actually have their own conference, or did they just have stuff integrated in other people's conferences? I... I think they had stuff integrated. So, I think, um... You want to talk about Kingdom Hearts? Oh... Oh. King, did they even just, did the they bring up? Just because just we have to mention of it in the Twitch chat, so let's get get on that as well. Okay, so here here's the thing: is Kingdom Hearts. It, it was talked about last year, and they said uh, Kingdom Hearts. They said it was going to come out. January, or Feb they said it was going to come out February 3rd, and the gameplay looked different, I mean, transforming into yourself into a fucking train and then running over a Heartless is kind of cool, um, I, I, again, I think they're seriously pissing people off by waiting, because, like, when it was delayed, they didn't mention anything about it, they didn't talk about it, it's just been delayed, and I don't think it was talked about this. But Square Enix is also infamous for delaying games. They delayed Final Fantasy XIII's, uh, I think it's thirteen two or a couple times. Yeah, they out. did. But and the, also with Square Enix, the they've issue, always wanted to take their time, though. Like, the them... issue with it is they delayed it without saying anything about it, and they haven't said anything about it this year, which makes me believe that they're just not. I mean... I feel it, part of my issue, issue is going to... Yes? I think part of the issue with them keep delaying, uh, especially in terms of the Kingdom Hearts series, is it's it's getting, getting stale. Yeah, exactly, it's getting stale. It's getting to the point where which the people, the old, the people who like played Kingdom Hearts one and two when they first came out, I are moving on to different things. I don't. But, they, think, but we still, I, the story has still been engaging for us to be anticipating it, it, the new releases. True. Like we're still, that's once we true. hear some news about it, we're gonna be like, holy shit. Our time has come, you know? Like That's that's very true, but I think that Kingdom Hearts 3 will not even come close to how satisfying Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 was. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't agree with you on I, this one. Dude, like, transforming into a train is cool, but I don't think that they can get to, to Kingdom Hearts that 1 That story, and 2 though. Like, this this is going to be the culmination. Not only that, they see that. They also has a... A precursor game to show how the Keyblade Wars start. So not only will we get a good ending, we'll also get a good rounding out of the beginning as well. So the story will come to hopefully a close or a closing with all the little questions that we had being filled in. You know, with the storyline, well, which then, is the main drive for behind this game. Then Square Enix needs to hurry the fuck up. Because... They're going to give us Kingdom Hearts 2.8, which is going to not only revamp. They also throw some gas between Birth by Sleep and the other events. Is there a reason why it's 2.8? That's like the most I, random arbitrary I, number I, I didn't pick. Even it's give... like not 2.9, <laughs> but it's not 2.5 either. Uh, I don't I don't think... I didn't even give any of the other games a chance. Like, I just played 1 and 2. I didn't give any of the DS games a chance. I didn't give... Because it's just... I mean... Really, like... We want we yes we want we want to have the story closed up, but we don't want them to mess it up. Which at this point it seems like that's the direction it's going, especially with all the delays, because now the hype train has died down for it since. Yeah, like it, it's. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Like the hype, they're gonna have they're gonna have to wow us to really the hype train was two years ago it's on a very steady like the train is going a half a mile an hour down the track and it's about to pull and be just like 
decommissioned. It's like you know the train's coming to the station, but you won't know how good of a ride it is until it gets there. Yeah. It's just gonna get there though. Trust me, I'm telling it, you, I'm, I'm going fully to behind get there, the hype. I'm fully on the I'm hype. I'm afraid that when it gets there, everybody on board has died from the plague. Like. <laughs> it, wow. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so yeah, let's, so let's like... switch to a different, because, I mean, there's not much you can talk about a game that's being delayed and yeah. there's a patient for it, but... So, Microsoft? No, well, we should still, I mean, I guess we're, are we going to stay on Square Enix? I mean, it's just Kingdom Hearts, and then, obviously, we have more gameplay King, from Final Fantasy Kingdom Hearts coming out. New expansion uh, release for, I mean, announced for Final Fantasy Fantasy fourteen, which... I'm on to 4.0 was, was announced for that so looking forward to that but other than that that's about all we got from Square Enix who had a relatively um, quiet did, showing did we hear did we hear more about Final Fantasy 7 this year just the just the, that was doing revamps and everything like that and the consoles I don't think we got a release date per se yet I, I don't think we did either but they definitely I that's definitely even if it, even when it's going to be episodic it's I, I'm still going to enjoy it, especially if they deliver on their promise and saying that every every episode's going to be basically its own game. So, all I'm hyped for that.